Solving Simple Technical Issues A device sometimes has a technical problem caused by the hardware going wrong. There are some things you can do to try to resolve the situation. Examples of errors include no internet connection or a system or application freeze. The first problem that we will explore is no internet connection. To access the internet, you either need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network or connected using an ethernet cable or using your own mobile data. How do we solve this problem? First, you need to check your internet connection. How do you do this? You can check if your status bar is displaying a Wi-Fi icon. Or you can check if your status bar is displaying a mobile data icon, for example, 4G. Next, you should turn on your Wi-Fi or mobile data. How do you do this? Go to Settings. You can turn the Wi-Fi on and off. Turn on your Wi-Fi or mobile data by selecting the On-Off button. If you are joining a Wi-Fi network, you may need to input a password. You can connect an Ethernet cable to your device. Ethernet cables can offer a strong internet connection. If your device has an Ethernet port, you can use it to plug in an Ethernet cable. The other end of the Ethernet cable will plug into the modem, router or Ethernet wall socket to create the connection. Now let's explore a new problem, a system or application freeze. Is your device on but not responding? It could be experiencing a system or application freeze. This can happen when your device is experiencing problems, for example, not enough hard disk space. How do you solve this problem? First, check your device is frozen or not responding. Press a key on the device. Or try moving your cursor. If your device does not respond, it is likely it is frozen. Look for a loading icon. If the loading icon stays on the screen for a while, it is likely the device is frozen. If your device did not respond, you can try to restart the application or restart your device. This will give your device or application the opportunity to reload. This is sometimes called rebooting. Please note, if you restart your device in the middle of an action, you may lose any unsaved work. If you need to restart an application on a Windows computer, you need to bring up the Task Manager. To do this, press Ctrl, Alt and Delete on your keyboard. You can also find the option to restart your apps and settings on your device. If you need to restart an application on an Apple iOS computer, you need to bring up Force Quit. To do this, click on the Apple icon in the top left of the toolbar and select Force Quit. You can also find the option to restart your apps and settings on your device. If you need to restart your device, go to the main menu, click Start on a Windows computer or the Apple icon on iOS and Apple device, and select Restart. If your device is completely frozen, you may need to force restart. Press and hold the power button for around 5 seconds until it turns off. Wait 30 seconds. Then press the power button to turn the computer on again. Check your hardware connections. Some common problems with connecting hardware are the hardware is not correctly connected to your device. The hardware is not connected to a power supply. Other solutions can include asking a tutor or technician or a friend for help, looking up frequently asked questions in the manual, or using the help function on the device or online services.